Hey guys, welcome back to another video with InfoSec Pat. In today's video, we're going to be talking about another Vault Hub box. As we see here, Who Wants to Be King? This is a cool little box. I already did it, and it's fairly, fairly simple, and it's a good one. So remember, like I always say, the disclaimer, these are all for educational purposes. This is a site to learn about penetration testing, vulnerability scans, the whole shebang that has to do with cybersecurity, right? So please like, subscribe, share, and I always suggested this box, I never even heard of it. And someone hit me up on my Instagram and said, hey, why don't you do a walkthrough of this box? There's not too many walkthroughs. And I did the, the box and I'm like, okay, this is relatively simple, straightforward. So I figured I'd give it a go. I guess whoever created this is a Game of Thrones fan and I'm not a Game of Thrones person. I never watched one episode in my life. So you guys may troll me, whatever, but whatever. All right, so, the box is who, who wants to be king, and you can see here we have the box. Let's bring the box over here. I already have it up in, with Daenerys, Daenerys, whatever. And so the first things first, right? We're gonna go ahead and make some notes. I wanna go ahead and make some notes. Where's my notepad? Okay. And, do, 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 do. All right, I already have, four. obviously it's really, really small here, but I wanna go ahead and make some sub notes, end map, like I always do. And we're gonna run, first we're gonna run a net discover or this ARP dash, ARP scan. And it looks like my IP address is 172.16.1.26, all right? So what do you think we're gonna do next? Obviously, like we always do in every single video, we can run an nmap scan. And we're gonna go ahead and put, the output is gonna be who, what's the name of this thing? Who wants to be king.txt. All right, and the IP address is 26, okay? We're gonna go ahead and do a service scan, an aggressive scan, the whole shebang, so we can get a full output of the results, all right? Here we go, let's copy these results. Copy and put it in cherry tree like I like to create my notes, whoops. Okay. Cool deal. So these are my notes and that's from my scan. All right, so we can see here we have port 22 open, port 80, uh, that's about it. So we know it's probably gonna be a web server. So let's go ahead and browse out to it, okay. Let's do 172.26. All right, so we have a file here as keylogger, right? So I don't know what this is. I don't know what it is or anything about it. So what we're gonna do really quick is we're gonna actually pull that down from the server to our local machine. And the way we can do that is use w, uh, wget, All right? So let's go ahead and clear this up. Let's do an ls. We have our results from our nmap scan, so if we do W get okay the the so right now we're gonna actually pull this file down to our local machine and just hit enter here and now we do an ls and now we see it here okay as keylogger let's clear that so what is the next thing we do we can do a few things right so we can do a few things here and like uh, I think a big big thing I forgot to say the description here is Google is your friend it's a beginner. Remember using strings and works in VirtualBox. And the goal is to get root permissions. So Google is your friend because I had to use Google. And at least for me, because I, like I said, I'm not a Game of Thrones guy. So what we can do is LS here. And what we're gonna do now is we are going to look at the strings of this file, okay? So these are the strings. This is all the keystrokes, probably someone typed and all that stuff. So if we look through here, something will look interesting right here. Cannot determine keyboard device file. This looks pretty, pretty interesting, right? At least to me. So what we can do now is we can echo that and it looks like base 64, all right? So let's go ahead and clear this out and let's use uh, echo. 
and I already have it here. So we can do an echo dash n, the, the string that we're gonna uh, uh, decode, and now the, uh, it decodes this password. I'm assuming it's the password. So let's copy this here. And the next thing is, we know the username, because let me pull it up here. Let me pull this machine over here. So we have the username here, right? And let's minimize this here. So what we're gonna do really quick, we're gonna try to SSH because we remember from our, uh, from our uh, scan, we have SSH open, right? So let's go ahead and do SSH. And then the password is gonna be right here. And now we're in that box, okay? So now we can do an LS. We can see secret. That looks pretty promising, right? That looks pretty interesting. So let's go ahead and cat out secret. And then, all right, find home, please. So what is this saying, right? This saying find home. What does that mean? I don't know. What does it mean? We can try to look for the home directory, okay? But what we're gonna do quickly, we're gonna go ahead and try to do something really quick. Let's do ls. Let's do something like this. Let's see, home, ls, okay, cd to, uh, oh my god. Okay, so what we're gonna do is cd, and we're gonna try to do local slash share, ls, okay. So now this looks a little more promising. It looks a little, a little better here, what, what we're rocking with, okay? So what we can do, we see the zip file, right? We can copy this and we can unzip. Okay. Oh, okay. So it's extracting, let's do clear and let's do an ls. So it extracted this. So we can copy this now and we can cat, cat it out. Let's just DJ. All right, so it looks like there is a note in user share sounds note.txt. Who knows what's in there, but let's cat it out. Copy, oh, I don't want to copy that, damn it. All right, so let's copy this, paste. All right, I'm Kahal, whatever, however you say that. So this is where Google comes in play, because I had no idea what that meant, what that is, who that is, or whatever, right? So let's go ahead and Google who is uh, KH. I'm guessing uh, is this is this fancy guy, Drugo, whatever. Okay. All right, so let's look at here. All right, let's, uh, let's see this. All right, that's not a good, that's not a good. Uh, so who is this guy in Game of Thrones? In Game of Thrones, because we know it's Game of Thrones, right? Like I said, I'm not a Game of Thrones fan, so I'm sorry. So what we're gonna try to do here is find this dude's name. Did I go back to the same spot? All right. Uh, do, 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 Kaya. And we just have to get proud of this guy's full name. Let's do this. Let's do Kaya, full name. All right, here we go. Uh, do, 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 do. Q, Kyle Drogo. All right, so let's keep, this is why I'm saying like Google's, your, this is bringing me back to the same thing. So his full name is gonna be Kyle Do. So let's go ahead and use that. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna su root and we're gonna use his name as a password, right? So I wanna go ahead and paste that here. All right, so now we're in this box as root. So the password is this guy's full name. So it's 
Drago. So it's going to be this guy. So the password is Kale, whatever. Kahal, Drago, or Dragogo, whatever. However you say that name, right? So now we're in this box. Now let's do an ls. We can cd probably now to root ls and nice. So we cat nice. And boom, we just pwned the box. That was it. It was a very, very simple, let me make sure I stop this thing. So it's a very, very simple box. It was pretty fun. Like I said, I got to learn some stuff about Game of Thrones that I never learned or never even knew about. So hopefully that was a fun box for you guys. You can download it, hit up the link in the, in the description. If you have any questions, just let me know. And until next time, guys, like I always say, thanks for checking me out and see ya.